Hello, my name's Brooke and this is the property we're selling. Um, this here is our swimming hole. This is a bit of river beach that we've got. Um, that goes all the way up and there's plenty of duck shooting and that sort of thing. Lots of animal tracks, there's lots of samba and deer. You can always pick the fresh marks down there in the, um, in the sand. Now, I'll just give you a run through. There's lots of these river flats. These are great for hunting, dirt biking. They go all the way right to the end of the property. I think it's 14 acres. So um, that flattens out and there's lots of meadows. There's lots of ways up. These are all old Samba tracks. Deer, Samba and Fallow that um, tracked out the place. And there's lots of these meadows. They all join to each other. There's ones up the top couple more over there end over this way next to the flats now this here goes up to another um, another house site which um, we were thinking of putting a house up there here it's a beautiful place for a site hard to see because there's quite a lot of gorse there it's heaps of gorse um, but that can be cleared easy I just cleared this in the afternoon yesterday and um, that's the view that it would have you can see the flat from which we come from over there, the swimming hole, the property extends, it's quite wide down here, it's actually just down there, there's a track of shot deer just in here, and this goes all the way up to the bridge, that's just a thin bit there, and I'll show you this part. Now this is all quite high and elevated. If I was going to keep hold of it, I'd flatten all this down, cut these trees out, and you'll see the view, hopefully, above these, which we were going for. And the ground here is really good. As you can see this is actually the old highway which come down along here. You can see where it's been cut out. So now the highway's back that way. But this is on the property so the grounds are really hard. You can see how it just sort of makes a road going around. And there's only gorse on that. It's easy chopped out. There's a deer that just lives in there. Sometimes. You've got to be quick. <laughs> um, and you can see there's more meadows over here there's a creek that runs through and comes out the property um, we haven't seen the creek we've stayed on this side the whole time that's where we run up there just in between that gorse and that's the house over there you can see on top of the hill and there's more of the property that goes out this way 
I'll I'll run back down and we'll run through the bottom here below this house here and we'll run back through there show you a bit of the creek and the property's got a big view around there where you can where there's more where some of the deer cross and stuff like that and all the sheep graze down there let's go this way had my Hilux through here so a few, quite a few years ago now there's actually two ways down there's the way where we, we run up I've had a truck down there there's this path through here we ran up that way so I'll just run down the road I guess back to the clearing where we were before and we ran up there before and the river beach is over that way and there's lots more just down here down this dip there's lots more of those flats with all those trees in that you saw before the creeks just down here we'll get through to it and the property over here when you head this way coming up the hill it's quite steep and hilly. There's a um, there's a razorback ridge with a little little clearing up the top, which is a good spot to shoot from. This is a. Uh, A bit of a creek. Cheek is still on, yep. That's some deer tracks gone up here. We'll go down this way. Um, definitely eels in here. I've, I shot a deer up here and the carcass got attacked by eels straight away. Uh, oh, these are sheep tracks, not deer. here goes up to a little bit of a razorback ridge there's tracks up there this part here is quite beautiful that's the creek this is a playground and you can see some more meadows over there there's more up there other side but we'll just run through this part because it's the better part uh, you can see where all the deer have eaten this right down underneath it only the sheep don't get that high to eat this they've eaten it right down under there and they um they love it down here and the house is actually just up the top you can actually just you can actually just pop them from not far off the house i saw, shot a little fellow oh no he was over there it's about 60 meters from the house because the house is just up there
some sheep we've got grazing on the place. So there's a bit of a another bit of a clearing in a meadow. It's, I love this bit. An idea we've been up there before. I was pointing down. This is that same creek goes through the place. So the creek's just down here. That just winds, keeps winding right around till it comes out by the road. where the road winds around the hill, goes around, comes back, and that fence there, the road's just on the other side of that fence. And then that fence line is where, where the house site starts, just up there. So here, gives you a bit of an idea. We can run back up to the road. Now we'll show you where the house is. You can get to it from down the bottom. Um, I'll, I'll show you in a bit. It's just quicker to go this way. Keep the video more seamless. It's a little meadow down there. It's been an old road actually bulldozed in down here. But I've never used it, it's overgrown. Could easily be brought back. It's not really a road, it's just a track. Just, uh, it's just up there further. This here is the entrance to the beautiful house. Brand new, we've just finished it. Three phase power, the whole works. That's where I really wanted to live, but we're selling it. See, a few, a few of our sheep down there. Oh, might as well run to that Razorback Ridge. Whoop. This is a wholesome big flat site. The garage. Nice good size. Fit two big vehicles in there easily. Uh, peacocks. And sheep, heaps of peacocks to shoot around here. Oh, where are you going? It's freaking out. Now this is actually our boundary here. So on the other side of this isn't ours. And this maize crop on the other side of the fence belongs to the neighbours. So this big paddock, this field here you're in, this obviously belongs to our house. And then this, everything on this side of the fence line is still ours. But if you imagine the fence line where it ca carries on straight through here, that so does our property on this side of the fence. So we'll come through here. This is where 
uh, there's a lot of the deer know this spot they haven't been coming through here lately you can see when they've been jumping over and the neighbors put these um high posts on the fence here because the deer like to jump across and this maize paddock when it's full of maize they eat that okay That's the little part of the meadow that we've just come from. Down through there, I'll put this pole out through there so you can see where we've come from. Down the bottom before we run out to the road. And it's a good spot along here if you can just come right from the house and you can shoot them actually just down here if you, if you want to shoot them that is. So our property heads on straight out this way. This is all on out. This is that little raise of acreage up the top. You can see the meadows from down there and pop them off through there. We're getting back out to where the river is. Lovely spots here to see what you own. can clear this right out so you can see down the bottom had it like that before the rivers down there some riverbank we'll actually now these paths are quite steep there's one there is one down here there's two of them down here I'll um just go for it shorten this pole that other way up back down now we've been down here before it's those dead trees gives you an idea been through there I'm just gonna run back to my wife who's waiting probably hit me on the head for being too energetic. Okay, this is more of it over here. This is the bottom of that Razorback ridge there. This is more meadows here that um, joins up the riverbeds that way, just past there. There's a bit of a ford down at the river here. Good lot of water from here. I don't know. So our property, I've, the line comes straight through here somewhere, I think. And so that's really it. But there's good lot of water to play around in. Of course, kids with kayaks and stuff like that come whizzing down and down over to the river beach. It's beautiful. It's actually really lovely. It's a shame I can't live here.
Now up there is actually where we crossed up before. So um, lots of tracks through here. We went up. Ah, that's where we come through from the river beach. And we went up here before. Ah, there's some flats right along here. Well, I'll show you this bit. Just if you want a dirt bike track or something, there's more. So you can have tracks going both ways. This is, um, I'll walk on this side one way and the other side the other way. Easy. Ducks. Wouldn't take much to trim, trim back some trees in there so you can get dirt bike trails going each way if you wanted that. I myself would leave it how it is. This is all our land. And the river is the boundary all the way on the property, in case you're wondering. That there, up the top, up there is where I said, where we ran up a path near the start and looked back over a lovely view over the property that way. This is down on this side, there's a road up there, and the property actually goes all the way up until there's a, um, it's only a skinny bit and it's quite steep so it's not good for much but it goes all the way up till there's a bridge so that there is it I hope you enjoyed the tour and yeah